Philippines Tourism discusses its marketing strategy for the Indian market. We are focusing basically on incentive trips. They are still the bread and butter of arrivals to the Philippines. Uh, very strong interest though are coming in from the active segment, family travels. Uh, we do have a huge uh, sector or segment of uh, weddings that are being done in the Philippines and we are very much looking forward to furthering our efforts in informing the public about uh, further options for family holidays in the Philippines and matching it up with gaming. The Park New Delhi discusses its growth plans. The hotel is growing at a constant pace and uh, last this financial year which we are closing right now we have shown a growth of 9% and uh, moving forward uh, the first quarter of this month uh, this year has gone very well and we are expecting a growth of 12 to 14% for this financial year as such. Go paperless with GPS! The Indian outbound market is setting new benchmarks every year. Here's a look at the ongoing outbound trends. The compounded annual growth rate is about 15 to 17 percent, which is very good. India is one of the fastest growing tourism industry, outbound tourism industry in the G20 countries. Student tours, uh, culinary tours, adventure tours, young millennials traveling to enjoy a sporting activity or a sporting event, music festivals. These are some of the trends that we are seeing emerging very, very, very Fast. People are looking at something which they want to really kind of do. Uh, indulgence, um, relaxation at the same time, looking at uh, food and wine, so culinary is, is, is another big thing that's happening and of course off the beaten track. A very good trend that we've seen this year is not a seasonal business, it's uh, uh, overall spread out throughout the year. The trend is changing. It's, uh, it's, it's more than leisure, more than mice, more than um, uh, diving. It's all about now experiential tours. 